It's Sloth. I'm playing Lies of P. From what I understand, uh, this is a reimagining of Pinocchio, where Pinocchio is a robot in Victorian times, in an alternate Victorian age where robots are commonplace. But what makes him unique is his ability to lie. Now, this got me thinking. You know the paradox? What would happen if Pinocchio said, My nose will grow? Well, I don't think it's lying in itself that made Pinocchio's nose grow, but rather the guilt of lying that made his nose grow. I mean, the whole point of Pinocchio's nose growing was to teach him about honesty before becoming a real boy, so if Pinocchio said, my nose will grow, well, there's no guilt behind it, so it doesn't really apply to the same rules as to Pinocchio usually lying and his nose growing. So I guess it will kind of depend on the intent. Uh, maybe his nose would grow if he's... If you're saying with malicious intent, I'm trying to experiment with uh, his enchantment, but anyway, <clears throat> enough of discussing paradoxes. Time to get into the game. Right. It says continue because I accidentally launched the game earlier when I was uh, setting it up. <clears throat> when in shock, your character's stamina recovery immediately dec decreases. So is that a clockwork art in the main menu? Hmm. Yeah, I'm guessing Pinocchio's nose doesn't actually grow because, in this game, because lying is a mechanic and uh, wouldn't be very effective lying to characters if they could visibly see Pinocchio was lying, so I'm guessing those might be uh, far cool. Anyway, in all of the great writer, Caro Collodi. Can you hear me? Ah, hello? Give me life? Geppetto's puppet. We need your help. Mm. Mm. Basic punch. I don't have any other weapons right now. Hmm. No, oh, interact with that lantern. There. Ah. Please come to Hotel Crot, and I'll explain what's happening. Jiminy, please escort him to the hotel. Interesting way of incorporating Jiminy. Wait, quick poems and gestures help to use them. Uh -huh. mm hmm. Okay, so. I up the characters throughout it. Mm. Let's get you out of there. Find
find something that might help. Hmm? What? What's that? But the streets are not safe. Oh! Arm yourself with one of the weapons over there. It'll be helpful okay. on your way to the hotel. Oh, do I get to choose? Aha! Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Off of the cricket bounce. Energy strength. Hmm. Okay, so bounce both power and speed. To go for the path of the sweeper. So, whoa, things are messy here. Oh, what? So use pulse to recover HP. Uh, okay. I see you. Hmm. Into it. Mm hmm. Ba -da -da -da. Thanks, Jimmy. No. Oh. oh. That's a powerful attack. Hmm. So, so those I said they employees. Ow. Would really hurt if he was a real boy. Anyway, God. So, huh? Oh, you don't have skin. Anyway, light up. Light up. 
I got gymnium. can see just fine. Hey, where's the employee with the key? Hmm? Hmm? <clears throat> what the? Hmm? Seems distracted. Um. Whoa. Um. Can I jump down and strike that guy? Let's just know. If one find me, I'll get out of the station and run. Another deadly strike. You got me there. Oh, dodge. No, no key, so I'm... Heal just like that. Hey. So, um, looks like this is how I get to the guy down there. Locked device. It wasn't... Um, first I should deal with this guy. Oh! Uh... Is that a problem, officer? Mm -hmm. I did. Ah, I'm confused with the buns, eh? Whoa, you're a tough one. Mm. Mm. Whoops. So, where do I respawn? Lie or die, eh? Okay, let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can use that to sharpen blade. Where I died. Mm. I get from behind. Whoop! Too late. Hmm. Uh, was it around this way? No, you don't. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. 
Almost back there. Uh -huh. Used by the buns. Mm. Oh, dang! The big trouble I have is I keep getting the X and Y bun confused. That has been too hard until I got to that. Um, hmm, is there anywhere else I could go to before that? Right? Hmm. Hello again. Make it up on you. Not really. Next, you again. Doesn't seem like I can. Just going to the same spot over and over. Hey, wait. Didn't notice that before. I should take care of you first.
Last resort. Will that be useful? Uh, I could say what I ever told what it does. Hello. <laughs> Nothing else here. Hmm. Oh, remember there's gonna be a guy from behind. Dash. Okay. Mm. Hey, whoop, 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 whoop. in the blade. Oh wait. Aha, so if I die again I'll be able to come back this way. Ah. It won't take as long now. Any fable art? That could be helpful. Why use fable art? Hmm? Blocking is probably wait. Dodging is probably purple over falling because I do still take some damage. I'm gonna find blocking anyway. Hmm. Getting better, and I have a shortcut back. Mm. Did I mention I'm not all that good in these type of games? I seeing how people play this game, I thought it looked a bit easier than most Souls likes. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, what the? This grand show sure enough. Experience the future of the world. Wait, oh, I found the next door that I locked her. Okay. Right, I fabled on. It's goody. I as well. Oh, so that's how I light up. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh? Eh? Whoops! Eventually, yeah, I was just about to give up on the game if I couldn't. Mm. After that, anyway, I have the key finally. Thanks for the head pads, mm. Billy Philip. I need that. He's basically... Okay, I thought so. This is called a stargazer. A marvelous device the stalkers used in the past. Mm -hmm. Hey, Papa Dorso exceeds danger estimates. Please reduce positive numbers or reset danger parameters. As we are, mm -hmm. we are not strong enough to beat the puppets. But if I lend my power to this stargazer for a moment, gather ergo, mm. clever one. This stargazer will make you stronger. Okay, but I. The stargazer's okay. strength doesn't last forever, so be careful with it. Hurry up and come to Hotel Crot. Oh. Um. Hmm. I go up. Okay, um... There's a bit more.
Okay, so... Another puppet? Yes. Whoop. <laughs> oh. oh. Me with that message. Anyway, what's this say? Welcome to Sea of Crack. In all Valentinus, who wrecked cornerstone of origin. Mm -hmm. Oh no, you don't. Mm -hmm. Right, um. Oh. Didn't see you there before. Give me a map. Hanged up on. Just love how these pups can bleed despite being machines. Yeah, oil and their blood. It looks pretty challenging, but really cool. Be afraid to try it yet. Well, if you have Xbox Game Pass, the game is free to play from there. That's how I'm playing it. Yeah, I'm a bit unsure about this game myself, so that's why just playing on Game Pass rather than buying it so far. Whoa! 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 Eh? Hmm? Hmm? And... Uh -huh. And... That's not even the right way. So, hmm. Um, hmm, nothing on the other side there. Oh. Haha, <laughs> gotcha! Um, it's closed. <laughs> oh, bad dog. Mm. Hey. Mm. I must be getting close. Hello? Hmm. 
frenzy, so is that why all the puppets have gone on a rampage? Dear citizens of Croft, the recent puppet frenzy is believed to be just a momentary glitch. There is no cause for alarm. <laughs> Do not panic, whatever you may hear. The city is safe to traverse. We repeat, do not be alarmed, citizens of Quad. We are effectively handling the situation with the cooperation of the workshop and the alchemists. The puppets are, naturally, imprinted with the Grand Covenant that prioritizes human safety above all. Please remain patient while the proper... Your active cooperation is requested and required. You will refrain from any unauthorized departures, assemblies, or active protests. Never forget that your safety is of the utmost importance to your city. The time for fear is over. Crad is safe. Crad is safe. Wow, looks like <laughs> they got the situation in hand like they promised. Hey, whoa! I'm ready, you're strong. But can't dodge or. Oh boy. Are you still there? Didn't recover anything, did you? Ah! Mm -hmm. Looks like it recovered. Mm. This thing does it healing, does it charge up automatically over time? What's with the meter? Mm hmm? Supposed to know that was there. That was just mean. Mm, I know the right way now. Yeah. Right, 
So what do we have here? Oh, catalyst. Okay, so I have a come around here that I can get a deadly attack on. Hey, wait a moment. Oh no, it's suddenly where I fought. Right. Uh. Mm. Yeah. Die. Ding. All these parts for crafting or something. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Like that. Right, hey, is there anyone else before that? I have the big weapon? No. Okay. Hello again! Ready for you this time! Okay, um, would be nice if... Hmm? I said if, if the tutorial also told me a way of preventing that attack from happening is to just hit the enemy to stop it from doing the attack. Right, that's where I died. Draw that guy out, so face it one on one. Okay. Either guy with the gun. You gonna shoot or what? Oh! Oh! Where your head at? Mm -hmm. I be able to unlock a shortcut around here. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Whoa! Urgent repair tool. Oh. Charges. I thought those were all automatically used up.
phone to draw an enemy's attention. So wait, what does this do? I can... Okay, so that's equipped now. Hmm. Oop, that wasn't aimed very well. Whoa, 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 whoa. He does his shot. Get to the shotgun around here. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Not doing too well on health. Um. I wish I could spend Thurgo points right now. Or would I have to go all the way back? Sorry, Sophia, but I have to wait a bit longer. Okay, so I'm guessing I'll... Yep, looks like all the enemies respawn. That's how these games work, but... Worth it just... the up a bit. Me. Hey. Hey. Now what's this? Hey, go up. Mm. Hey. Okay, and you too. Shut wait. Mm. I have the 
magic weapons coming up. And interrupt its powerful attack by attacking back. Right? No? What? That worked before. Mm. Oh, wrong button! Mm. So they do charge up. This guy out, so mm. 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 Hey. Uh. Ah. Well, bye. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Didn't really work. Hmm. Okay, maybe this isn't the game for me, um... Thankfully, like I said, I didn't actually buy, I'm just playing off Game Pass. And, uh, considering how I've been doing, I don't think... ...worth... ...buying the full game. Okay, um, hmm, what to play instead, um, give me a moment to decide on that.
Um, I've decided on Sherlock Holmes, The Awakened. <laughs> oh, um... This is... an AP? Wrap up everything. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Well, did that sh even show up? Uh. Didn't get a chance to check. I had to restart it. Hmm. Okay, there it is. Right, so... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Go away, you swan! Leave, or I'll make you bleed! These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Bones! Help me! Do not fight the calling! <laughs> Blood! Hmm? I beg of you, Holmes! For day! Relive your blood! Oh, no. No, it, it can't be. It can't end like this. End? Eh? Uh, again, this nightmare haunts me. It won't let me forget. You've experienced... those are memories? How did this all begin? Huh? Good question, so, um... Gotta see the answer? Rugwares presents. Sherlock Holmes Adventure. The Awakened. Years ago, London, 6th September 1894. Okay, so yes, we are going to see how it all began. Ah, uh, Baker Street. Extra, extra, read all about it!
Wait, so is that actually Good Watson morning, we saw Holmes. having a nightmare? Ah, Looks like a typical hey, so that's London Watson. Day. Fog in the morning, fog in the afternoon, <laughs> and here's a surprise, fog in the evening. Good morning, Watson. Can you imagine? I have been at it since 5 a.m., and I scarcely think my list of patients for the day has even been touched. What is more insufferable, I haven't even had a moment with the morning paper. <laughs> they say the minister will assuredly... Holmes, whatever is the matter, you haven't heard a word I have said. It is the tedium, my dear Watson. Life is ordinary, the papers are lifeless. Any hint of audacity, and dare I say, romance has vanished from the criminal world. Holmes, it is only temporary. <laughs> you know perfectly well that sooner or later an exceptional incident will occur in London or thereabout, which cannot rest till the talents of Sherlock Holmes are called into play. Then it will be up to your agile wit to set things right, which should satisfy your constant need for mental gymnastics. Be careful what I you wish for. the heavens hear your words, Watson. I hope <laughs> they do indeed. Well, I must take my leave, Holmes. I have an appointment with a rather odious man, Captain Stenick. He is apparently in a state with near tachycardia due to some problem involving his manservant. Why don't you get out for a brisk walk, Holmes? Perhaps buy a newspaper or visit that fellow, Barnes, over on Glentworth Street. You might remember him, the bookseller. He has some new volumes of the particular sort that should occupy your mind for a time. Mm -hmm. this here that is um thing of use here Here, that's the way out, or oh, that's the bedroom. Um, anything useful in here? Oh, um, yes, I'll head out then. Mm -hmm. uh. Oh, close on so. I would if the game would let me. Have to go this way. Uh. Hmm? Where do I go now? Pigeon. Hmm. Hello, is... Everything all right? Pardon me, I'm looking for the Barnes Bookshop. Would you happen to know it? I know the place, know it well, Mr. Holmes. The bookshop is on Glentwood <coughs> Street. Take your first right and then the next left and you'll find it straight away. Okay. Yep. Oh, this way. Hmm. Respect, Miss Fleming. <laughs> Good day, Mr. Holmes. Okay, so then to left, so where's Barnes? I 
have no reason to go there. Okay, uh, guess not. I misunderstood the directions. Mm. Oh, what the? Mm. Hmm, that was an odd glitch. Um, is the stream showing up alright? I can't seem to tab out. Yeah. Uh, yep, looks alright. Uh... <laughs> hmm... Outcome Street? I guess I have to walk around till I find it. Hmm. Uh. Would you repeat the directions for me? Pardon me. I'm. Lo I know the place. Know it well, Mr. Holmes. The bookshop is on Glentworth Street. Take your first right, and then the next left, and you'll find it straight away. First right, ne next left. Mm -hmm. I'm going right. Then left is that it? Okay, so this is Glen. Ah. Another side. Hello. Good morning, Mr. Holmes. How are you? I have some new novels that should interest you. A nice illustrated volume on fish and a collection of legends on piracy. They must <laughs> be here somewhere. Fish and piracy. See, huh? How I know where to find them. I found them. Mm. Hey, what's this? A book about sea fauna. Aha! Okay. Now, what about the book on pirates? Hmm. Anything else to interact with? Hey, what's this? Ah, the pirate's book. Hmm. You pretend to be alone. All right. Okay, so. I will what you wanted. Them. Thank you, and goodbye, Mr. Holmes. 
All right, so go back to Pike Street and wait, I guess. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, something strange is gonna happen when I go back. Mm -hmm. oh, seems alright. Sit. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. uh what now? Books aren't showing up in inventory. Yes. Guess I have to go out again and uh, find something else to do. Can I get one of the papers? The newspapers? Something else? John Watson suggested. Ah, there we go. Wasn't a Didn't seem to appear before. Strand, I... strand, by the strand. Princess so, attacked. my young friend, what is the news? Nothing of interest for the great detective, sir. Those old stuffed shirts ate up half of London at their big scientific to do, and some Candesnavia princess is driving the locals wild with curiosity. A Scandinavian royal is in London? If you and the lads can look sharp and find out more about her visit, there will be some coin for your pockets. Right on, Mr. Holmes. If there's aught to be found, the irregulars will have it. I'll send the words out to the lads. Good chap. It is necessary to keep my informants in fighting form. Yes, they had some... What's that? Mm. Ain't just parents. Mm -hmm. Strange fish. Strange giant fish. Half bit man enters a butcher shop. Arto, a man of declining years, is coming away at joint beef. Customers stunned to realize the butcher is missing several fingers on his left hand. But she's seeing the shocked look on his customer, says in a shake voice, Eh, hey, see so you're looking. Tell you, I always like to put a bit of myself into the work. Of age, I'm a lot less handy. Daring fish from El Porter. Okay, well, that's the books, that's the newspaper now. And shall come to relax back back home.
Okay, guess I'll just go out and walk some more. Seems like there's a whole other street I haven't been to. Didn't really have any reason to go there before. Okay. Holmes, here. Okay, coming. Ah, it's good that I've found you, Holmes. As I told you this morning, I've visited Captain Stenick. Although his symptoms are not serious, the circumstances which caused his palpitations are quite peculiar. Perhaps you can make something of it. Here is Captain Stenick and Sergeant Rufels. Mm -hmm. Hello. Now then, Sergeant, what is it about, and what elements of the crime do you have documented? Referring to the official report, the following particulars were taken down. A young Maori responding to the name Bayalpa was reported missing by his employer, Mr. Stenick. No one in the surrounding area saw or heard anything relevant to this incident. In truth, we rarely concern ourselves with cases such as this, but the lad speaks not a single word of English, and according to his employer, has considerable strength. Considering the wild customs of his native land, who knows what damage he could cause? You must know, Mr. Holmes, there have been a few similar cases reported recently. The facts are much the same. Immigrants from the poor districts have been reported missing by their families. We expect that some low-class brothel has opened its doors to the local exotics, and Mr. Holmes, you can imagine how word would spread. Mark my words, with his unique looks and speech, we'll find this boy in no time. I imagine he'll have nothing worse to show than empty pockets and a delighted air. That is a Hi. possibility, to be sure. However, I would be most grateful if you could ask your superiors to send me the reports about those similar cases. I rely on you, Ruffles. I don't think that imprints are going to any buffer. I think they're working together to overthrow the upper classes. Captain, I understand from Watson you are quite upset. Any man will be the same and with less provocation. My servant has left in the middle of the night. Damned ungrateful after all I have done for him. To top it off, he knows not one word of English. Finally, if he causes any damage, I will bear the brunt of people's anger and suffer the consequences, as I am the person who brought him to England. How long was he in your employment, and is he accustomed to vanishing in this manner? We returned from Australia more than five months ago now. But to his credit, he never left this house before now. He is afraid of the city, as are many inhabitants from open spaces. Could he have stolen something? Upon my word, no. How much money does he have on his person? Frankly speaking, he didn't have any money. I kept his wages for him and they are in my safe. In any event, what the deuce would he have a need for money? Who knew mm. that he worked at your home and had he any contacts here in London? Anyone who deals with me professionally knows Baopa is my personal servant. As for his contacts, they are limited to the delivery men who bring food or other items to my home. What reason could he have to see anyone other than myself? Watson, continue your hmm. search here. I must follow another lead. Are there any other Maoris? Maybe... ...done contact with them? And where to now? I go back to that kid and found what word on the street is. Mm. 
I have no reason to go. I have no reason to go there. Okay. I'll go there. Mm. Mm. Maybe I was on the right track going further this way. Let's just explore everyone till I find out where I can where I need to go. And where I can go and find out where I do I need no to go. Reason to go. Oh, can't go any further down that street. I have no reason to go there. Okay, then... Go back to the street you had before. Yes. Mm. Hello? Can I talk to you? No? you about going on my respect miss fleming oh, hmm. that street is closed i guess i go back here um do i go back into barns i have no reason to go there oh well, seems like one place I can go to unless I need to go back to Baker Street. What can I do for you, Mr. Holmes? Hmm, that's what I'd like to know. Is there something you could do for him? Hmm. Yes, I'm going back to Baker Street. isn't there anymore, so... I don't have enough information. I should return and investigate further. Eh? So... Return as in... I wasn't supposed to leave that area? Uh. Yeah. So am I looking for... Evidence around there? Find something. Hmm. Aha! Footprints! Now that's a lead. Several leads. The lock was not cracked. Hey! Seem be some interesting marking on the ground. What a oh. peculiar drawing. That's certainly Maui! Okay. Mm hmm. Now there are footprints. Footsteps. Let's see. Okay, so do I just keep following them and they stop there? More footprints, they seem to... Footsteps. Hmm. Let's see. So, am I... The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard-soled. Okay. Eh? 
anything of interest. I mean, what? Footsteps. Let's see. Oh, so that's to get out. And, uh... It was the same. Footsteps. Let's... The size is undoubtedly set. Okay. Same... Same prints. Hey, anything else around here? Doesn't seem like it, so... Hmm. Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Maybe I might have found something. Hmm. I also investigate. Size, anything else? So now can I go to Baker Street or Need more evidence. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. I don't have enough information. Okay. Not enough. Mm hmm. Maybe there's something else in the shed. Or maybe, hmm, maybe find the house on this side. Mm hmm. I have no uh -huh. reason to go there. Aha! More footprints. Interact with these footprints? No. Wait. Yes, there is something here. Hmm? Yes, there is something here. What do you mean? Uh... Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. Hey, would you care to elaborate? Yes, there is something here. May if I investigate that part of the wall from the other side. Mm -hmm. Can I go inside? No. Footsteps. Let's Wait, what was that? Footsteps. Oh. Let's see. Mm hmm? Hmm, how strange. This appears to be a fish scale. I shall have to examine this more thoroughly under Okay, so for that I'll have to go to Baker Street. Noticed that before. Interesting. Is that where the hmm, the fish book comes into play? Well, might just seem like a trivial detail, but um, perhaps it will actually come in handy. Okay. I don't have enough information. What? Uh, 
Oh, do I have to talk to the guy, or is there more to find? When will I know when I can return to Baker Street? Oh, some people. Mr. Holmes? I sat in Ghost Reaper. I was playing Lies of P earlier, but I um, found it a bit too difficult. Um, thankfully, I didn't actually buy the game. I just played for free via Xbox Game Pass. So um, now I'm playing the Sherlock Holmes game. Wait, there seems to be a an escape Maori servants involving fish. Hey, what's this here? Hmm. hmm. This appears to contain some measure of opium. I <laughs> shall analyze it at Baker Street. Hmm. This game ain't good, eh? I've I've only just gotten started on it. Um. It's be a bit cryptic at times, but um, I don't usually play these sort of a uh, point click, point click investigation game. But hey. What's that there? Sure, I'll get used to it. Yellow in color. I'm sure I'll get used to it as I play it more. I'm... Anyway, what about? Yeah. Oh, I could go to that. No. Hmm. Anything else? Let's go for the footprints. Footsteps. Hmm. Doesn't seem like this. Anything else here? What about the other pair? Is there anything at that? Right here, I can't even interact with them anymore. I'm... The lock was not cracked. And does the fact that I can interact with the other, I mean, there's still more to investigate. Hmm. Well, what happens if I talk to the over the house? Um, will Sharp Holmes pour his fangs now? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Several things, but apparently not enough. And back for those footprints. Um, can't interact with. I have those anymore. So, um, hmm. perhaps there is more to investigate at the second cell footprints, but. Hmm. Footsteps. Let's see. Hmm. Wait, do I have also have to measure width? No, oh, just length. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard soled. Wait. That one bigger. <laughs> Look carefully. Hmm. There'll be something else around here. Not seeing anything else. Hmm.
footsteps. Let's see. Why do they go back this way? Not finding anything else. Hmm. Anyway. Anything there? No. Hmm. The lock was not cracked. Hey, wait. How are we drawing? Documents. Hmm. I need to... Wait, I have that active, so now can I talk to him about... Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Let me now present it to... Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Hmm. Yeah, what if I activate the knife or something at the the other side of the wall? Will that work? how I use objects on things. Oh, no. Yes, there is something here. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is something here. Yes, there is something here. I go this way. Hey, sledder. This should prove useful. Aha. Okay, so. some plant fibers fibers why are they here hmm it will be necessary for me to examine this more closely at baker street okay so now can i go back to baker street and examine the evidence mm -hmm. uh I don't have enough information. Ow! Still not enough? Can I talk to him now? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Plenty of things. But still not enough, apparently. The lock was not cracked. The lock was not cracked. Hmm. Wait a moment, do I use a knife to, uh... Pick out the footprints? 
Footsteps. Let's see. Hmm. The size is undoubted. Hmm, what about... The size is undoubtedly... Hmm. You're not even acknowledging that one. Anything else here? The right shoe is missing a nail. Okay. So that's information apparently. Um yeah, I can't interact with that anymore, so that means I've discovered all there is. Okay, so um, the what about... was not cracked. Wait. The lock was not cracked. I go on the inside. Anything else else to discover here? Hmm. The lock was not cracked. Hmm. The lock was not cracked. Okay, now try to talk to the homeowner again. Yeah. Want anything to him? What do you make of this, Holmes? Okay, there. What? What? Have you found anything, Mr. Holmes? Huh? Okay, Come there. on, son. We must return to Baker Street. Finally! What do you make of this, Mr. Holmes? Mr. Stenick, I wish my news were your servant simply left your employment voluntarily for the service of a more honest man. Unfortunately, I don't have that pleasure. In truth, the news is grim indeed. Your servant was seen in the company of two men yesterday. Hey? What? One of the two is a man of moderate size, very robust, and a oh, mature Oh, the age. shoes. His profession, which will be the key element in our investigation of this affair, will be determined by me within few hours. The other is a young Hindi, who is tall and only recently arrived in England. There is a darker side to these events. Your man was not with them by choice. Rather, the evidence shows he was kidnapped. At this hey, moment, I... the reasons behind this villainous act are unknown. But, rest assured, the truth will not elude me for long. Gentlemen, I wish you a good day. Come, Watson, we must hurry. There's a great deal to do and little enough time to spare. I will not piece that Holmes, together. I must protest. You did not spare my client, Captain Stenick. This seems unusually harsh. That may be, Watson, but now what matters more is to know the reasons behind the kidnapping of this young Aboriginal yesterday evening in central London, and more importantly, what has become of him. I must concentrate on a small experiment. I will run to test my theories. Please go to the poor Lovelorn Barnes and ask him if he has something on the Maori nation and its traditions. Also, if you should happen to see the newsboy outside, find out what he knows, and if it has value, give him a coin. And for God's sake, don't be a miser, Watson. A miser? <laughs> you cost me one of my patients, and you question my level of generosity with your informers? Oh, really, Holmes, sometimes you go too far. Right, so now... Now to examine the evidence. Hmm. What I really want to examine is the fish scale. 
According to this monograph, the fish scale appears to be from a perch, a saltwater fish with high commercial and culinary value. Aha! Okay. Now it can't mm. be used for anything. Now it can't be used for anything. Hmm. Now it can't be used for anything. What about this? I shall have to examine this more thoroughly under the microscope. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, what's this? The meatball ignited but failed to burn completely. There are, without a doubt, mustard seeds present, probably in exotic oh. form. What could be the other components, I wonder? Interesting. Nothing. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Okay, now we're uh, onto something. Hmm. Now it can't be used for anything. My analysis is not. Eh. What about water? Now it can't be used for anything. Hmm? Nothing. Nothing. Now it it's can't a... be used. That's it. Hmm. Perhaps if I apply heat. Okay. Now so... it can't be used for anything. Oh. Uh... Oh, matches. Whatever that does. Mm -hmm. so what do those I sure. note a strong presence of opium blended with a concentrate of morphine. The <laughs> remaining elements are a mystery to me. Okay. Hmm, very interesting. This car has shown. Was not yet die, died yet, not even felt the size out. Originated India. Nothing. Can I? Can't get to the scissors. Now About it this. can't be used for anything. I'm trying to investigate this, but. My analysis is not. Okay, that's the only thing left to examine. That's not showing up any results. Hmm. These rope fibers ah. are clearly hemp. Ha. Now, about the origin of these stains. Hmm. 
Nothing. Hey. Nothing. Let's see if I can obtain a reaction with the help of my chemicals and apparatus. Hey, that it? This is evidently coal soot mixed with water, and given the mm. absence of any salt particulates, it must be fresh water. Mm -hmm. I should look from the window and see where Watson is. Hey, okay. Done. No. He discovered anything? Oh, now I'm playing as Watson. There's a good lad. How does it go? Hello, sir. My associate, Sherlock Holmes, said you might have information for him about... about... Uh, now, what was it? The Princess Gov. He was looking for the scuttlebutt on this here princess what we visiting. Exciting goings on. Her bodyguard went missing the first morning after she got here. Nice job to look after a princess's body, isn't it, sir? <laughs> they say he went out on a town having a go with the ladies. If you get my meaning. Like as not yep. he was trapped by some gang of toughs. Otherwise, who'd get the best of him? A proper giant he was by all accounts. Do I get me coins then, sir? Oh, hey. thank you, sir. Obliged, I'm sure. Right, so now I need to go to Barnes. Mm -hmm. Already know the way to there. Changing perspective just confused me. Good morning. Has your sprain improved? Good morning, Dr. Watson. <laughs> it is slowly showing improvement. What can I do for you? Would you happen to have a book on the Maoris? If I have one available, it would be on that bottom shelf. Although, I'm not sure if I still have that particular book. Please don't trouble yourself. I will look for it. Hey, on the bomb shelf, she's... Wait, so is that there, or...? It's important to realize that the Maoris create peculiar pictorial rangs with soil in order to express much as simple artistic emotions. First one was. Last university. First and foremost, no Maori dreams do by these drawings. Secondly, when points are made, you are found to have true spark. As nature does, a little half hardly in such place. I'm just going to understand this. Good. Okay. Hey, found it. Good day. Goodbye, Doctor. Okay, back to Baker Street again. Mm -hmm. 
take off what you wanted. Hello. Holmes, what on earth did you say to Barnes to put him in such a state? Not hmm? now, Watson, although I'm sure this bit of news is most significant, it must wait. We are piecing together a singular affair. This abduction story is much more complex than it appears. As I noted before, our next move is to locate the place of employment for one of the villains who abducted the young Maori. What part of London would such a man call home? Your intentions are good, my dear Watson, huh? but you have missed everything of importance. Uh. Your intentions are good, my dear. Does. What? How I. How I know that? Hmm? Ah. Hmm, documents. What earth and the strand? Let's see. Ought and probe. Oven flat. Hmm. Hmm, you're staying at the si Academy of Sciences. Uh. Wait, map. Don't have a map. See, strange fish. Hmm. So, fame, is that it? Yes, Watson. There is little room for doubt. Our man is a bargeman who works at the Thames River wharfs. He is more precisely employed to transport and handle fish brought in by various ships. Our next step is obvious. We must find a cab and make haste to the Thames near the warehouses. I could use that fast travel, so I do actually go out and hail a cab. Oh wait, there's one right there! Hello! Good day, Mr. Robes! Take me to Thames. On those. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Why did we come here, Holmes? Brr, it's rather sinister here and so cold. <laughs> Precisely, Watson. Ah, good. Here's a pub. We can warm ourselves inside. Excellent, Holmes. Forced mermaid. Hello. Good day to you, sir. Could you serve up two of your best pints and some information, if you please? My pleasure, sir. What can I do for you? My friend and I are looking for a man who works one of the fishing boats at the docks. The name of the ship escapes me, but I do know for certain fact it has a coal-fed boiler. In truth, <laughs> there are dozens of such boats that lay anchor here every day. What can you tell me about the look of him? 
Only that he is a robust man about this size, wearing iron soles. Little help there. You've just described half of my customers. I have nothing for you. Here now, look for a man called Harper. He lives in a house not far from here, after the bridge near the warehouses. You can't go wrong finding his place. It has a large anchor painted on it. Right, that's useful. Hello? Either way, I am in your debt. Please tell me, for curiosity's sake, what troubles your friend? Hmm. He's been waiting ever so long for a new wooden hand. It was to be here yesterday, oh. but still no sign of it. He is quite low and has taken to the drink. Oh, devil! Last night a nasty flea woke me, and me with only the hook on me scratching hands. <laughs> and to add to me worries, imagine last summer I had worms. Worms? <laughs> yes, worms is what it was. A sudden attack in the middle of the night, again with only the one hand and that blasted hook on the other. Hit me misery. I used the wrong hand. <laughs> oh. I was unable to so much as sit for three weeks. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> well, gentlemen, again, thank you. Have a nice day. We'll see if we can find one hand. Our main priority is that house with a big anchor on it. Over the bridge, do you see? Convenient that someone we need to, to talk to has a very distinctive house. Anyway, hello. No one is here. Hmm? Hello. Excuse me for disturbing you, but I'm looking for a man named Mr. Harper. Do you know him? He lives just opposite you. He gone. Boat. Boat. Watson, I know hey. this accent. These people are Nepalese, and as luck would have it, I am familiar with this dialect. Nepalese? Holmes, are you sure? Aho Nitra. Chigong se Nitra. Ah, Nito. Tro. Bo Petro. Toro Mitro. Toka. This woman says her family has suffered a grave misfortune. This altar is for her son, a lad of 16, who disappeared just one week ago. Could he help run away to sea, or some other youthful adventure? Il koga bratsein, but presindra kum. Bo petro toro mitro ka waekta dorikoto a nito tro petro. She said a man was seen in the area making inquiries about her son and their family. The man worked at the docks and had a silver eye. Mm. Yes, exactly. He was a vile man with one silver eye. Malinhe gas. Sundra brokhead hardo. Odaligaha. Toro mitro. Ka. Petro. Doka. Ah, nito. Waekto ricota. She also says her son's belongings are on this altar. She says we may examine them and take anything that might help find her son. All right. What does this have to do with Captain Stenick's servant? Sure, there's some connection. This is not Nepali. It looks like silver, but judging by the weight, it's a fake. Mm hmm. Take anything else? Can we talk to the little boy?
seems not. Maybe we should probably investigate around the docks. Oh, uh, hello. Lovely. <laughs> There's a bit of a graphic glitch for a split second. You seen anything? I don't know how much help. It appears this young man is ill. Be a good man and see how serious it is. I thought I was just now, drunk. My young man, huh? let's have a look at you. Oh, oh, Holmes, <laughs> this man isn't ill. I knew He's it. drunk. He fairly reeks of alcohol. Oh, oh, it's not my fault. I swear it. Oh, oh, my head. Oh, this gang of young toughs they forced it on me and then on top of it they stole my parcel what's that you say you were forced to drink mm. explain this and spare no details yesterday afternoon i was given a parcel to deliver to an address not far from here I was near the warehouse district when a, a gang of young lads attacked me. Before I could think, they drew knives and gave me a bottle, telling me if I valued my life, I'd better drink it all. Well, hmm. let me tell you, I drank without stopping. I became giddy, and then must have passed out. I remember nothing else except waking up a moment ago, finding myself alone, my parcel gone. But what could they have wanted, Holmes? The it's parcel? Obvious, Watson. They were seeking some poor soul on whom to test their vile concoction. Tell me, oh. could this bottle be the one they gave you? I can't say. It could be. I feel ill just looking at it. Hmm, it has a unique flavor. Rather tasty, I might add. <laughs> There's no mistaking my senses. This contains turnips. In fact, a liberal amount. But turnips? where are you off to, Holmes? Watson, it is time to seek out the distillers of this unique brew. If they are located in this district, they may have much to tell us. Hmm. That's very interesting. Let's see. Where else can I go? Where am I find? That part of the warehouse seems an ideal place to hide, but it would be difficult for anyone to get there. Hmm. Hey, what do we have here? Lots of bottles. Hmm. Aha! Turnips! Gotta be the place. So, what about it? Hmm? I am missing something. You can tell you. Definitely the place, but so what about is I need some sort of passcode? Yep, 
This the smugglers. Hmm. Talk to the Nepalese woman again. Petro, he doka. Hmm. I can ask around the pub some more. Hello to you again, sir. I won't waste time. We have discovered new details that may lead us to this elusive seaman. Most significantly, the man has a missing eye and wears a silver ball in its place. By God, that can be no other than Dirty Summers, a nasty brute, that one. Where could one find him? He must have signed on with a ship, because he oh. was here last night looking to hire some men. How did he behave while he was here? He gave me extra to secure the private table behind that curtain. During mm -hmm. his time here, men of all sorts came and went seeking positions. However, he seemed nervous and fearful as his knife was unsheathed and ready the whole of the night. Oh. May I examine this table behind the curtain? Mm. Certainly, if it will help. It's helping too. So hmm. I have to All right, let's see. These cuts seem quite recent. Oh. There are four symbols. Interesting. Anything else to investigate? Oh, well, that's something. Talk about anything else. Have you found anything of importance, sir? Around here. Hmm, can we go back to the Nepalese woman? Wait, do I need to have that activated in order to talk to me? So I assume this is your special recipe? That depends uh. on who's asking. If it's the law, then I have nothing to do with this. If you're a customer, two shillings gets you a taste. <laughs> a fair price indeed. Unfortunately, this vintage is a bit full-bodied for my taste. But I would be very happy to recover a parcel that went missing near this very spot. Mm hmm? Aha! Here you go. So do we go back to the delivery guy? Mm, wait, where was he? Down here? I won't. Where's it go to? Who's it for? What's the address? Where? Wait, isn't that where it was? Don't I have to deliver myself now? Hmm. 
Petro, hit your car. Why can't I talk to her with this? Petro, hit your car. Oh. Something at the pub. You recognize this? Have you found anything of importance, sir? What about this? Have you found anything of importance? Hmm, guess I am supposed to give the pass back, but where's the guy? Back this way. Wait, uh, I'm very confused now. Hmm? I've been here. Hmm, maybe I can look at the warehouses? Can't go in there. Hmm. Dialed, um... What do they have at home, Sita? And check in there. Maybe I went the wrong way. I get. What if I go this way? Is there anything here? Hmm. He's just seen to the same spot. Where's the delivery man? Hello? Oh, that's where it was. It's gone now. On here now. <laughs> hmm. Sometimes speech file appears over once, and sometimes it doesn't. What do you make Which... of this, Holmes? Hmm. -mm. No one is here. Now what? Oh, well, maybe if I just go back. I first found. Living man, I'll find him again. No. Hmm, that's definitely where I found him. Anything else to investigate? Hmm. I think I've been here yet. Anything of interest here?
So that's how I find items. Aha! I can't! You ain't fired somewhere. Well, I have some good news. Good news, sir. Here is what you were waiting for. Oh, thank you, sir. I could kiss you. <laughs> Here now, you can't just leave this laying about like that. Lord love you. The scrapers are what it is. Well, come now. Let's celebrate with a, a drink. I think you found that from... I guess I'll take that hook. This should prove useful. Okay, um... I'll do for now. I have to... Uh, keep playing this some time. Uh, what the? What the? Have I? Have I been frozen this whole time? At the very least, it looks like my model has. Was that what was going on with? Ah, uh, that's most strange. Okay, yeah, it looks like VTube Studio crashed. That's what happened. Wait a Wait. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look at the VOD, see... What on earth happened? Well, uh, let's find someone to raid. What the? Not even... Oh dear, maybe... Maybe I shouldn't play this game again, it... Seems to have messed... Everything up. Anyway, for now, um, hmm, I'll try and read a little VT. Oh. Uh. Hey. They, they say things don't allow me to rate them. What about Blasphemous Roar? They're playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Oh, for the Sega Master System, it seems. Okay, that's working. Why to it? Uh, it seems like I, even though you still don't understand. Uh, it seems like I can't change scenes properly, so. But well, 
Hmm. Eh, just... Do the right now. <laughs>